Most Amazon sellers' biggest challenge is to find the right products to sell on Amazon that can print them money. Most newbies spend months doing product research, but in this video, I will show you how you can land yourself a winning product idea in as little as 60 seconds. I started my Amazon FB business in late 2017 after I got fired from multiple nine to five jobs. I hated my boss, I hated the commute, and I hated being told what to do. I knew at a very young age that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. If you are watching me right now, then working for yourself or becoming an entrepreneur is probably your plan for the future. However, to be honest with you, if you were to start your Amazon FB business today, it's much more challenging to find that profitable product compared to when I started because lots of people are taking advantage of this huge opportunity. And that is why I am going to show you guys a shortcut so you can have a profitable product as soon as possible. Without wasting any time, let's dive right in. If you guys are new to selling products on Amazon FBA and you want a proven step-by-step -step blueprint to help you make over $10,000 every month, then make sure you take advantage of my free Amazon training in the YouTube description below. Click on the free training link. Enter your name, enter your email address, and watch the free training to the end because you get to apply for a one-on-one -on -one call with my team and we will walk you through the entire process on how to find profitable products to sell on Amazon over and over again. Now, the first software you guys need to download today is Helium 10. I'm sure you guys know what this is. If you don't, it is the number one software to help Amazon sellers with product research, keyword research, and basically it offers you everything to help run your Amazon FBA business. Go to your Chrome web store, type in Helium 10, and then download Helium 10. Make sure the extension is installed or else you will not be able to follow along in today's tutorial. Next, second, you need ChatGPT. Go to google.com, type in ChatGPT, and register for a free account. It is 100% free to use. Now, ChatGPT is like an online robot. For those of you who have never heard of it before, I'm sure a lot of you guys have by now, but it basically helps you with everything and anything. So down here, it says, send a message. This is where I show you how to find winning product ideas in under 60 seconds. I am going to type in, give me 10 product ideas to sell in the toys and games category on Amazon and then press on this green arrow. Now ChatGBT is helping me find 10 product ideas and I promise you, you will land your winning product. It's really as simple as that. You can ask ChatGPT for anything. You can ask them how to bake a chocolate cake. You can ask them to write a biography about yourself. You can ask them anything. Anyways, let's go over the list of products that ChatGPT gave us and see if we can put it to use. First, we have educational building kits. We have interactive plush toys, board games with a twist, DIY craft kits. Okay, this one sounds unique and interesting. This product is intriguing to me because I know that DIY craft kits can be customized very easily. Remember, when you guys are doing private label on Amazon, you need to customize your product to stand out from the competition. Of course, you can customize outdoor adventure kits or puzzle and brain teaser sets, but today I just want to focus on DIY craft kits. So when you guys type in any product ideas using ChatGPT, you can just choose a product that you like. So I am just going to copy this keyword, and then next I am going to head over to Helium 10 software and use Magnet to see what kind of craft kits I can find so I can possibly sell on Amazon. Head over to Tools and then go to Magnet Keyword Research. We will be using Keyword Research to help us narrow down a product idea. So I'm just going to paste it in here, click on Get Keywords. So you guys will be doing the same thing. Go to ChatGBT and you can type in any category on Amazon. I chose toys and games because that is the category that I have experience selling in. 
So these are the keywords that appeared for DIY craft kits. I am going to sort the search volume from big to small. So I know how much demand these keywords have. Now, just by judging at the search volume, uh, you guys obviously know that search volume is how many searches per month each keyword has. It just looks very overwhelming with six figure keywords up here. And there are a ton of five figure keywords. So I want to narrow this down further. If we look on the left hand side, these keywords are very broad beads, diamond art, bookmark, toy. It's just very broad. So I only want to focus on crafts, right? Because that's what we are doing. We want to focus on craft kits. So I am just going to go to phrases containing right here and then enter the word crafts. So I only focus on keywords that contain the word crafts. Click on apply filters and now I can see keywords and possibly products that are crafts. You see how my search volume narrowed down a lot. Now we will focus on any keywords and products with the words crafts and it has less competition. Remember when you are trying to find a winning product on Amazon, you do not want to find a product with tons of competition. If we were to remove the keyword craft and we focused on the keywords that we saw earlier, those search volumes were in the six figure range. So that's very competitive. Now we are looking at search volume that is around 20,000, which is perfect. So I am just going to randomly pick one. I want to look at kids crafts because I want to sell kids products. It has a search volume of just under 9,000 and that's exactly where I want to be. Click on the little arrow and it brings you to Amazon's first page for kids crafts. Now I haven't narrowed down my exact product just yet, but here are so many different types of product ideas. Obviously, I am not going to sell anything that competes with Crayola. You guys know that Crayola is a big brand and you don't want to sell a product that competes with big brands. But here is a good one. DIY wooden magnets. So this looks like wooden magnets that kids can customize. Uh, draw on and paint on. This is interesting. And then right here we have glow in the dark rock painting. That is very unique. We have Crayola again. We don't want to compete with Crayola. And this is a water globe. Now I wouldn't sell a water globe because the first thing that comes to mind is the globe possibly breaking during transportation. So these are some things you have to just be aware of when you are looking for product ideas on Amazon. You don't want to sell anything that breaks easily, so I'm going to skip over this. But without spending too much time on page one, I'm going to go to my Helium 10 Chrome extension and then click on X-Ray Amazon product research so I can look at the numbers. You guys should always focus on how much money your competitors are making from selling a specific product because if the product is not making money, it doesn't matter how cool the product is, right? Like if I want to sell DIY wooden magnets, but it was only making like five grand in revenue a month, I probably don't want to sell that because $5,000 in revenue after expenses, that's not a lot of profit being left over. So let's sort the revenue from big to small. I'm curious what type of products are making the most amount of money. So let me just zoom in a little bit. We have Crayola again. So I'm just going to remove the big brands, remove Crayola. Uh, remove any products that I don't want to sell. This is Skillmatics Art and Crafts Activity. This seems a little harder to source, so I'm just going to remove that. And then this one is made by me, create your own window art. Okay, that's not bad. This is Kids Seashell Painting Kit, not bad. But let me just remove the ones that I have no interest in selling. So I'm just going to trash that. And I'm just trying to speed through this because I don't want to spend too much time looking at products. But there you have it. If you try to sell a product like Kids Seashell Painting Kit, it's generating over $165,000 in revenue per month. And it looks like it has a very low number of reviews. It only has 
81 reviews, you guys. That is absolutely insane. So this tells me that there is a lot of money to be made if I came in here and I started selling my kids seashell painting kit. They have only 81 reviews, so I know 100% that I can compete. So that is your first narrowed down product idea. Let's keep looking. This is Paint by Sticker Kids. I believe this is a big brand, so I'm just going to remove that. Remember, we are just looking at product ideas, right? This is Creative Roots Mosaic Turtle Stepping Stone. Okay, I don't want to sell that. This is a modeling clay kit. Now, the number of reviews are quite high. It's got 4,791 reviews, probably not. Wow, this one is is 21,000 reviews, probably don't want to compete against them. Um, let's see if we can find something else. So this is the product that appeared first in the search results. DIY wooden magnets. And we were looking for DIY products, right? DIY crafts kits. So I think this could be another good product idea if you are only focused on selling DIY wooden magnets. Revenue is over $60,000 per month. Most Amazon sellers have a profit margin of 30% and greater. Let's have a look at their profits. So click on your Helium 10 Chrome extension, go to profitability calculator, later. And this will give me a general idea on how much profit this seller is making for their wooden magnets. So margins are over 36%, which is really good. This gives me assurance that I can do the same. If not, I can probably source a better product. So there you have it. This is a product idea. If we go back to our x-ray right here and let's have a look at the kids seashell because this was the product that only had 81 reviews. I'm just curious about their profit margin because if my competitor is able to make profits, then there's no reason why I can't make profits. All we need to do is do further research and find what the customers want and how we can create a better version of our kids seashell painting kit. So wow, their margin is even greater. It's over 40%. So this is a really good product idea with only 81 reviews. So that's two product ideas already. Now, if you guys followed along in this tutorial and you guys are still not happy with the products that came up in X-Ray, then you can always go back to ChatGPT and ask for some Something else. Let's try find me 10 product ideas in the kitchen and dining category to sell on Amazon. Click on the arrow and this takes a few seconds and it will generate me some ideas. We have a silicone cooking utensils set, reusable food storage bags. Anyways, you guys get the idea. So if you are one of those newbies that don't have any idea on what to sell and what's profitable out there, this will help you find products in just a few seconds. I hope you guys found value in today's video. If you guys still need help with finding profitable products to sell on Amazon, again, make sure you get my free Amazon training in the YouTube description below and book a one-on-one -on -one call with my team and we will help you find those products. That's it for today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.